this is going to be my top Funko Pop picks of August 2022. And these lists have blown up bigger than I had ever expected them to blow up to in my life. So let me just say that I truly appreciate you for all the love and support you've shown me in getting this list to where they're at. And if you like these lists or if there's something that didn't make this list that you think maybe should have made the list, how about throw a comment right down below? You have to remember that, that all of these lists are always open for discussion, right? So if, if there's something on here that did make it that you think should have made it, throw a comment right down below. This list was kind of hard to make this month though. Coming right out of SDCC and we're about to go into the New York Con, we have this gap, right? And you always have this little bit of a gap in Funko when this happens. Sometimes Funko throws in some fire in that gap to make sure they keep the hype going. Sometimes they give you a little bit of a break. I think right now they're giving us a little bit of a break, but that's okay because I still found some fire for this month. Coming in at number 10. At number 10 is going to be the comic cover Wolverine. This is number six. Now we know that these numbers mean absolutely nothing when it comes to Funko in these comic covers. For some reason, the numbers are all over the place. Marvel has their own set of numbers. DC has their own set of numbers. I think Star Wars just recently got their own. So, so the, we know that the numbers in the comic covers mean nothing, but this one is number six. It is coming in at number 10. Number nine is going to be a Greek god from the Love and Thunder Thor, which is an awesome movie. If you didn't see this movie, you should you should just pause this right now and go check that movie out. Come come back after you've seen the movie, and, and then we'll discuss it some more. Coming in at number nine is going to be Zeus. He is number one. He's number 1069 out of the group. This one is pretty badass, only because it's a Greek god. And like I said, this list has been a difficult list to make this month, so, so, so just, just take it for what it's worth. <laughs> Coming in at number eight, this one is pretty fire. Now, I want you to remember number eight is one of them that has kind of set the tone for all of the pops coming up today right so so coming in at number eight is going to be the five nights at freddy's number 878 tie-dye version now i believe that this is the first tie-dye version i've seen come out of funko and i say that they've kind of paved the way because the the five nights at freddy's were also some of the very first black light funko pops a lot of us in the community don't know that but they had a black light five nights at freddy way before the hype got behind the black light pops and some of these five night at freddy funko pops go way up in value so make sure that you keep your eye out on this one i didn't know enough about five nights at freddy to rate it any higher if it, it may maybe it should have been a little higher on the list because of the the amount of pops that they do have that skyrocketed in value but it, they also make a lot of these things but look for this tie-dye to start coming out in other pops i guarantee you that it's it's coming it, it is coming i guarantee you it's coming coming in at number seven is going to be another one from the love and thunder thor this was an awesome movie this is going to be gore he is a specialty series sticker now a lot of times when you see these specialty series stickers they are a gamestop exclusive I don't know if this one is a GameStop exclusive, but he is number 1092 out of the group. It's pretty awesome. This is one of them that I'm personally going to try and get my hands on. I'm kind. If you know what the specialty series sticker is, how about throw a comment right down below because I, I need to know at this moment. I truly believe that this means it's, it's one of those GameStop, GameStop exclusive member, member exclusive stickers. I don't know, but throw a comment down there if you know. Coming in at number six. Number six is, is one of them that I otherwise probably would have never made it on my list but this one is going to be an extremely strong character this is going to be cinderella with the pen now we know that they've done a whole line of the disney princesses and they come with the pens and they come in different ways but this one is cinderella and she deserved the number six spot coming in at number five is going to be valkyrie's flight Valkyrie's Flight. <laughs> this is a black light target exclusive pop. This is a Funko Pop ride, I believe, because she's on the horse, you know, get it to fly. It, it's an extremely awesome pop. Now, I don't know that if I rate it up there with the, the Ghost Rider, but it, it's close in theory to the Ghost Rider, but I don't absolutely know that I put it up there with the Ghost Rider. It is number 86 out of the group. It is... It is pretty cool. Now, like I said, I don't know if I put it up there with the Ghost Rider, but it's really, really close. Check this out. I don't think Willie Nelson ever made any of these lists, but but I really think that maybe he should have. Willie Nelson's probably an underrated pop, if I had to guess. 
it's probably not an underrated pop. I just want to believe that it is. But hey, check this out. During this list, if there's any of these pops that you want to pick up, there's a link to Entertainment Earth right down in the description below. Make sure you use that link. This channel is going to pick up a few pennies every time you use that link to do your pre-orders. And if you're going to pre-order, you might as well help me out anyways. Let's get back into this list. Number four is one of them that I would have never seen making the list. Is going to be 1083 Funko Shop exclusive. Miss Marvel. Now we know that there's some Miss Marvel shows coming up. Anytime you start getting into the shows versus the movies, and Funko coming out with them causes the pops to push way up in price. So if this is one of them that you plan on flipping, keep your eye out on the Funko Shop because this is going to be dropping on the Funko Shop. It should be, I think, a, a fairly hot drop. If, if I'm predicting this one right, it'll be a fairly hot drop. You will just have to wait and see. This one maybe even could have came in lower on the list. We're just going to have to wait and see how this one plays out. Coming in at number three is only suiting for number three, though. It's going to be the Blink-182 three-pack. You can currently order this one on Entertainment Earth. There's a link right down in the description below. I know you heard that just a second ago, but I want to make sure that you remember this. There's a link right down there. This one came in at number three because of the scene, right? So they, they have um, the drummers, the singers, they're playing the guitars, they have their microphones. They made a whole scene out of this one, and I think that this is truly unique for Funko to make the whole like rock scene in the box. I think it was truly awesome. Great job. Hats off to you for that one, Funko. Coming in at number two, is going to be another Target exclusive Black Light Pop. They made it on the list twice this week, and I don't know if they're going to continue making it on the list because I feel like maybe the Black Light is starting to fade out a little bit. Goes back to that, what I was saying in number eight. I think we're going to start seeing a tie dye line coming up soon. Coming in at number two is going to be Rescue. Now this one is a really awesome pop. I had to have my friend actually explain to me who Rescue was because I kind of thought that Rescue was just going to be Iron Man, but Rescue is not however Iron Man. It's, it's a whole different story in a saga. Rescue is 1080. Now we know getting our hands on Target exclusive pops sometimes can be kind of difficult. We want to blame it on the employees, but let's quit blaming it on the employees and blame it on poor timing. Poor timing is what we need to start blaming this on. Coming in at number one, last but not least, is going to be another Funko Shop exclusive. This is number five. This one does come with a Chase variant, but to get your hands on a Chase variant, if you're going to play like a Chase roulette, get your wallets out because this is going to get real expensive real fast. It is going to be the die cast Thor. This thing is truly awesome. Now, I feel like when it comes to these Chase variants and the die cast, they're kind of pulling a trick on you by calling them a Chase variant because it's just a, it's just the die cast that they didn't put any paint on. To me, it seemed very lazy, very sloppy. I almost wish that they would do some kind of a chrome to it or maybe some kind of a black chrome or something to make me feel like it was a little bit more detail-oriented or, or maybe they put a little bit more effort in it than just leaving the paint off. This one is going to be really Really, really awesome don't get caught slipping if you want to get your hands on this one because once it sells out it's going to be kind of hard to get your hands on it's going to go way up in price you're going to get caught in the fear of FOMO you're going to spend two three four hundred bucks on this one if you don't get your hands on it don't get caught in the fear of FOMO wait a few weeks wait a few months it will come back down in price look just history tells us that they're all going to come back down in price as long as we don't get caught in the fear of FOMO you will get your hands on it at a decent price I hope and truly 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 hope that you appreciate this list and that you enjoy it as much as I enjoy making them this has been a kind of rough one don't forget to check me out Monday we're gonna we're gonna do the second part of that GameStop hunt that we all know kind of went bad and you can probably hear in my voice that I'm still trying to recover so hey look let me just say that I love and appreciate you and I'll catch you next time have a good one it's number 1080 <coughs> <coughs> oh excuse me guys I'm making it I promise I'm making it Oh, it's been rough. I got this though, right? I got this. <sighs> Rescue is t coming in at number two, though, is going to be.
Ah. Oh. 